Chicago has a crime problem. Chicago is like a war zone. And our orange man in chief has the solution. President Trump threatened to send in the feds. But there's another option for stopping violence in Chicago, community engagement. That's the strategy of the grassroots program, Ceasefire. The violence in Chicago, it's not just a Chicago Police Department problem, it's a community problem. Everybody had to be involved. U.S. Floyd's been working with Ceasefire for 13 years. I spent the day with him and his team to see what community engagement looks like. These are blocks in the South Shore community, and these red dots represent hot spots. And this is where you're going to, tonight. On the South Side, one shooting always leads to another. So Ceasefire tries to stop this retaliatory violence through mediation. We can mediate anything, man. Who sold some bad stuff to somebody or whatever, who robbed somebody. It could be relationship beef, it could be a bad Domestic. drug deal. Like, let's say your girl gave your Netflix password away. You pull up your Netflix and it asks you if you want to finish watching Narcos. But you was never watching Narcos, which means she gave your password to another dude. We mediate all kind of conflicts. Man. I'm gonna need your number, man. But don't think this guy's some kumbaya self-help dude. I got a lot of exes in my life. I'm an ex-gang member, an ex-gang leader, ex-drug dealer. That's the key to this work. Violence interrupters come from the same neighborhoods as the guys they're trying to reach. Kind of like how Mr. Rogers stopped all those puppet shootings in the 70s. But even with all that experience, this ain't an easy job. I've been shot at a couple of times, mediating gang conflict. You, you, hold on, you've been shot at? Yes, while doing this job. Dispatch, this is 212, Victor. Show me. Is that's Bound. a real radio, Roy? Huh? That's a real radio. You talking hey, to some real people? I don't know. Listen, I hope it's on. Armed with only flyers in their mouths, Ceasefire patrols the most dangerous neighborhoods of Chicago, like South Shore, where last year there were over 1,100 violent crimes reported. Guys from the neighborhood warned us that out here, even talking can be dangerous. It could be, you don't know me, I don't know you, but it could be the way I say, what's up? So literally, if I say hello the wrong way, it could pop off. They'd be like, what you mean, what's up? You know what I'm saying? So then how the f should I say hello in Chicago? Exactly. It could be, oh, your bag's too little. So you buy an ounce, you wear it, and it ain't an ounce. Yeah. So some of your weed got arugula in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I needed to see Ceasefire in action, so I created a realistic scenario of a drug deal gone bad. Pardon me, sir. I purchased some weed from you earlier, and it is of not the finest quality. Perhaps a refund is in order? Nah. Pretty please, sir. For is... my safety and your safety, I'm gonna get you from that scenario. I'm gonna take you out and buy you something to eat first. Why, cause, cause I got the munchies? Cause I just smoked. That's why you don't give me some food? <laughs> first of all, you, you arguing over drugs, it can escalate to something different. There's a bigger picture to see fighting than buying some damn weed around here, man. There's people out here that go run and get guns because everybody else got one. But maybe there was more opportunities and more jobs cause everybody just out here trying to survive. And that's what people outside Chicago aren't getting. There's a bigger picture to life on the South Side that violence is just one part of. And shootings have gone down by an average of 43% where ceasefires active. In one South Side neighborhood, homicides went down from 49 per year to 34. I lived on this block, grew up on this block, and saw everything on this block. And you know, y'all cool. I, I see y'all care a little bit. We heard, I don't uh, know well, we how we gonna cease the fire. We gonna try. You know, but we cool, man. I appreciate y'all coming through. What Ceasefire does is not glamorous or high tech or action packed, but this is what actual crime fighting looks like. How can we make people get that? The same way we make Americans get everything. Make it a basic cable show. No tasers, no vests, no guns, and definitely no explosions. But they do have flyers and their mouths. Hey, bro, your life can be better. I need more flyers. <laughs> hey, how you doing, man? Just want you to stop the vibe. The Windy City just got windy. Outside Chicago. Getting too cold for